So, but we're back in Urbana now. We're back working on the Travel Air. Yeah, Travel Air 6000 project. I hope uh, you guys aren't uh, too bored with our story here. So, Doug, tell us about what How you guys. How could you be bored? You're... Well, we don't have real aviation enthusiasts all the time. <laughs> okay, that's why. <laughs> so here's where we're at right now. So on our way back from Texas, we stopped at Wicks Aircraft um, just outside of St. Louis, and we picked up some plywood, quarter-inch mahogany plywood. And John, if you can pan over here, you can see we've made our floor for the traveler. And the plywood comes in, in four by eight sheets, and so we have, this is two of them. And if you could see this discoloration right here in the middle, this is where it is spliced together. And we rigged up our radial arm saw, and we can show you that over here in a second. And we, we put a, a scarf on the plywood in a 10 to one splice, so 10 to one ratio. So this is quarter inch plywood times 10 is two and a half inches. So if you would pick up the plywood and, and measure the scarf, it's, it's two and a half inches wide. And, and so that's nice and strong. We, we glued it together with epoxy. It's as strong as the regular plywood. And so now we have one continuous run from the cockpit through the baggage compartment. And while we were in Texas, uh, Dewey, Kelly came up with a fantastic idea. He said, you know, there's no access really to the belly of the travel air if something ever goes wrong with any of the cables, any of the pulleys. I mean, we can put a couple inspection panels underneath here, but still, if something happens, that'd be just such a nightmare to get in and work. He says, why don't we put it in in two or three pieces. And I got to think about it, thought about it all the way home, got out the old floor when we got back here and started playing with it, how can we space it? And so that's what we've done. This is actually three separate pieces and you can kind of see it back here. So we have a, a center piece and then, and then two outside pieces. And once we put the supports on it and connect it, you'll never know that it's in three pieces. It fits together like a glove. Wow. So just fantastic. I'm, swinging the former around here like just show them, let's show them that there so these are you guys seen the the formers that they were working on this is one of the formers where does this go yep this yeah. is number four so it goes right here so it will mount actually behind this string right there that's how it goes And we have a little notch right here because there's there's a quarter inch plywood that goes along here, and that's that's the window frame. Okay. And it sits on there, and um, so that's why that's like that. So if you want to come over here, I'll show you what we've done to make that floor. Oh. Okay. So it all starts with the radial alarm saw, and we took the blade off. And we, have, we use a machine shop down in Tip City, G&M Precision Machining, and they do fantastic work. They made an adapter for the radial alarm saw, so that way I could put the vertical drum sander horizontal right. on here. And then we just started playing with it and made a stand over here until we got our, our two and a half inch um, bevel is what we need, which is the 10 to one, and mounted everything. And when it's turned on, we have the fence here. We could run the plywood right through here. Yep. It took about 10 passes to get it. Okay. But we finally got it when it's up, up against the fence. That is our 10 to one splice and about two and a half inches wide. And we did it on, on both pieces of plywood. We made a frame down here. We glued it all together and, and it, it worked great. Mm. So it took two guys holding out here. Uh, one guy over there kind of guiding. I was here pushing it this way and then Larry was was over here sighting everything making sure nothing went bad okay looks like you're building up uh, someone's building up some of the formers on this probably the cables go through here and yep. everything cable okay. and fuel lines go through there so we're actually going to glue these up later this afternoon okay so this is this is one of the guys that Donovan that was here the high school guy okay um, one of the high school kids he was over here making all of our V blocks so we could glue all this together Wow. And you can see you did a great job. Everything fits perfect. <laughs> so I'm excited. This will be a big step forward. It doesn't seem like a lot, but in constructing all these formers, this is a major step forward where finally we have everything just where we want it. We're ready to assemble it. So we're going to get an update on the paint booth here. 
So this is looking nice. Yeah, it is fantastic. So John has been working really, really hard in the paint booth. This was just a kind of a storeroom that was in this part of the hangar. And uh, we cleaned everything out, moved all the shelves out. He put two access holes through the wall over here and put um, filters on them. So that is our fresh air, fresh air coming in. And then we have a hole in this wall over here. Oh yeah. And then there's a an exhaust fan right outside here with a built-in filter and everything. So that is a portable exhaust. And then there's another hole in through the side of the hanger right on the other side of that uh, filter. So that way we can exhaust all the fumes and stuff like that outside. We've got new lights up here, tubes and, and racks to hang stuff so that way we can paint. And uh, one of the guys here in the airport gave us this nice regulator. So that would be great. About the only thing left to do, Dewey, is connect the airline to the regulator. Oh yeah. And we're gonna be in business. Be able, sir. So we've we've finished the track for all the window, and we're getting ready to take this apart because this needs varnished yet, and this needs varnished, and then we'll we'll assemble everything for the final time, glue it together, make some nice brackets up here to hold it, and then that will be done. And that's been that's been a massive project to recreate this whole system right here. Yep. Okay. And this is Model A Ford 2. So this will, um, to attach this to the window, we'll just put a couple layers of friction tape in there and slide that window inside. So obviously that needs to come back apart and paint it and so that way it doesn't corrode and things like that. But that's, that's about it. Wow. That's, that's exciting that that's going to be done. Um, hope you guys enjoy this part of our Traveler 6000 project. You guys can follow us on Instagram. They will be at Oshkosh one day. I'm not sure which year, but as soon as it's done, <laughs> as soon as it's done, it'll be there that year. <laughs> but uh, follow the project and thanks, Doug. You bet. Thanks for coming out, Dewey. Yeah, thanks. We'll see you guys. John. See ya. Blue skies.